Oh no, we're trapped. Get out of here. <sighs> if you do not do this fast enough here, this fire will be an early grave for Lincoln Midna. The only real way to get out of here, as my friend's mother instinctively thought, and as I did not instinctively think, and I actually got stuck at here at one point, is to jump! Might as well jump! <laughs> With all that being said, hello everyone! My name is Master Sarmaran, and welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Phew, that was a close one. We're lucky that there was a puddle down below, huh? So this is like Hylia, but there's so little water. So like the Spirit Spring should be somewhere around here as well. Anyway, let's take a look around. Last time on Twilight Princess HD, we start ex we started exploring the Linnea region in Twilight, and we also found where Ilya's whereabouts are. This time, we are in search of that spring. Dropping water has been faster than predicted. At this rate, Lake Hylia will dry up. It's a race against time. Absolutely no water flowing from upstream. There's no mistaking it. Something must have happened at the water source in our home, the source domain. How are we to return upstream to our home the way things are now? We can't even walk back there. Hmm. That's a good question. Oh, I'm too old for this. Fire in front of these water top land of fascination. It's our grand reopening, our new lake bottom location. We. Huh. Yeah, nice lake. Don't lakes have more, I don't know, water? Does the Zoras live up river do something? Or is it Christmas spirits floats around up there? Whatever, it's not like I can go up and complain, that's way too high. Uh. Oh, what's that, a customer? Yeah, it's a monster! A monster, you say? I don't like monsters. Let's go show monsters what we're made of. And it seems like this monster has a somewhat wit of intelligence. <sighs> yeah, this guy likes to hop on a shadow beast here. I'm trying to remember how to deal with this guy. Oh, jeez, he has... Fire arrows. I remember there being something kind of rough and awkward about this fight. Because, yeah, he has fire. He'll be shooting at you with arrows. But, yeah, you'll want to dodge his arrows and then just kind of go in for an attack whenever he does do that. I guess it's not that hard. I just. This is kind of a random mini boss that we have here. Oh, t somehow I, somehow that missed me and did, oh my god. Not a fan that that completely missed me there, but sure. Can you like come down here again? Yeah. There we go. That guy is down. He's just as weak as any normal enemy here. You can just kill him, no problem. But... Hey, stop it. I'm your new master now. Settle down. Hey, I'm gonna use this guy to get all the way up to the lake's water source. Yeah, why don't we do that? Good idea there, Midna. Good idea. Anyways, we actually have a little bit of a flight segment here, which is kind of awkward, because there's going to be a lot of guys shooting at us. We do have, our, we have a dash that we can do. 
gonna have to be dodging a lot of things, but it is still a really cool cinematic cinematic part of the game, though. I really actually do dig it, like, the concept of this area here. It's really cool getting to just fly up the Zora River like this, you know? Definitely the most... Lanayru is definitely the most dynamic of the regions, I think, compared to Elden and... <laughs> Elden and, uh... The... Why is the name of the first... Pharaon. That was the name of it. Or the Ordon. I knew it was something that started with an F, but... Yeah. Yeah, we just kind of got to keep flying. They're going to be shooting some rocks and stuff down at us here, but if we're diligent, we can kind of just avoid all that. We got like five archers here all trying to shoot stuff at us here. And off in the distance is our giant keyhole. The keyhole that is the last... <laughs> the thing that'll summon the last ever Smash Brothers fighter. <laughs> Welcome to Upper Zora River. Ah, we're already here. That bird turned out to be more useful than I expected. Well then, where's the village of Zoras? Let's look for it. It's getting cold, hurry up. What do you have to say? I mean, what are those Zoras up to anyway? The river's totally run dry, right? Can't work like this. <sighs> Cold. Miss my fur coat. Dang, sounds like everyone's livelihoods are getting a little messed up here. But this is a different, definitely odd sight so when they're mentioning it's cold here. <laughs> Didn't expect it to turn into February here. And this is not what I expected Zora's Domain to look like, but it is completely frozen over. Oh, hey, what's going on here? I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought that this would be all frozen? This is Zora's Village, right? Why? I don't see anything. Well, let's check things out. Let's find the Zoras. Indeed, let us look for their Zora friends. You have a lot of annoying slash bat enemies here. I do have a fairy in a bottle, but I'd rather hold on to it as long as I can anyway. No, 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 don't. Wait, what did Minna say there? Give it up. If you were to go somewhere else now, you wouldn't be able to warp back here. If you want to warp from here, I'll have to find... Oh, I didn't know Midna said that as like a emergency precaution there. Considering, yeah, I guess we did take a bird to get up here and didn't really have a means of getting around here. I've never seen that dialogue before. Anyways, uh, if I can... Where the heck am I... Oh, wait, do I just... Okay, I can just break this. Be very, very careful here, because the last thing you want is to, yeah, you buy some rogue icicle here. I've definitely had my share fair of playthroughs where I've been hit by a rogue icicle, and that's not fun. That usually sends you straight down to the bottom. Oh, of course these guys would be in the area. Why wouldn't they be? And, of course, one of them would be kind of stand along. Alright. Okay, got them all. Thank God. Thank God. 
Now we have a teleporter here. Portal's open here too. We can finally warp. You wanna breathe the air of the world of the lake for a moment? Let me know and I'll take you there. What do you need you want? <clears throat> now that we have a warp portal here. I want to head to Death Mountain here. Once again, there is something I can technically start collecting if I were to go back to Faron Woods, but I'll worry about that at a later on point. It's not something that's super urgent right now. This is my idea for how about we, else we melt this ice. What do you guys think? Saying it's been here for a while now, but it's still pretty hot. We can warp this whole giant thing. Let's see if sending it to Zora's domain might help a little bit. Midnight can also apparently just warp this whole thing, I guess. Definitely enough to start causing some flooding and some melting. Spring is in the air and let's get rid of all this ice. Something so dangerous would come in handy. Alright, the Zords are safe now, so let's go. The ice melted and restored the water flow to normal. Can we finally meet the spirit of Lake Hylia? I don't know, can we? There's a lot of Zoras here, a lot of unconscious Zoras. That's not good. I guess they were all frozen. <sighs> hey, are you okay? But the some waterfall pool. Yeah, a lot of these auras were kind of all... It seems like everyone was really just affected by this whole Twilight skedaffle here. And I don't know we helped them. And the world happened. That downstream area is going to be alright. Yeah, a lot of people... Seems like there's... Wait. Please, you must allow me to thank you for revitalizing both my people and this spring. Which is the water source for all the land of Hyrule. In life, I was the elder of the Zora village and the queen of my people. I was called Rutella. be rude, but we didn't exactly do it for you guys. Man, no, this is not the time for that. Come on! The Dark Ones. They raided this village. And this message to my people. Executed me before them. Damn! Shit just got real. Young man, who take the form of a proud beast. I have something to ask of you. The Dark Ones descended upon our village. I sent my young... Rallis to Hyrule Castle to inform Princess Zelda of our fate. But I fear danger followed him from this doomed place. I feel that his presence grows fainter to me over time. My time in this world has passed, and though I would give it gladly, I no longer have life to risk in his rescue. Please, would you save my dearest Prince Rallis? If you do this thing, I will bestow you upon the protection of water. This power will grant you the ability to swim and respire in very deep water as if you were a Zora. Please, save my son. Hmm. So if we help her, she'll grant you the power to swim in deep water like a Zora, huh? 
So, what do you say, hero? Oh, but now that I think about it, I don't suppose you'd meet the princes of wolf, huh? <laughs> so, no hurry to rescue from the world of light, huh? Midna really... Oh well. So now we can say there's a lot more water in this land. It's also raining out, which is kind of odd that it would also be raining in normal twilight here. Looks like the shock of that impact not only raised the water level, but also sped up the flow too. This water should flow all the way down the lake. Why don't you let it take you there? Indeed, why don't we? Because we can just swim off a waterfall here, land perfectly fine here, and then just continue swimming along. Wait. Okay, I was gonna say, I don't know why it played that sound there. That usually only plays if you, like, fall in a place you can't really recover from. But yeah, Lake Hylia is back to normal here, and we're seemingly right where we need to be here. Aren't you awake yet? So we got washed all the way down Lake Hylia, just as I predicted. It looks like we're right in front of the Spirit Spring to boot. I'll talk about Lucky. Let's go, snap out of it, and get to the Spirit. I am the last of the spirits of light, consumed by twilight. Hero, chosen one of the gods. You have done well to make it this far. Gather my scattered tears of twilight that were stolen by the shadow. Gather them in this. Well, we've seen one of them that we just could not get. And it's really, really out of the way, if you remember. Shadow Realm of Twilight, the insects are invisible like the humans of this world. Collect my life. Lift the final cloud of twilight that threatens all things. You know what we're doing next time. Thank you for watching this episode of Twilight Princess HD. Next time, yeah, we're gonna be going on a bug hunt again. I don't know if we'll complete the bug hunt again this time, because again, there's a lot to go on, but... I mean, we've been in this Twilight section for two videos now, so yeah. We'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.